The SwimOutlet.com Team Division. Custom team gear, bulk discounts, all the best racing brands. Build your own online team store in just minutes. Go to SwimOutlet.com slash teams for more. 2018 was one of the best um, swimming, I guess, seasons of my life. And I think for me, I just really need to stay focused and I'm doing a great job of that and enjoying training and having fun and keeping my mindset on Tokyo in 2020 and Olympic trials, but also enjoying the little things along the way, whether that's going to a training camp with my friends or uh, worlds this summer and going to different places. I think it's important to have the long term always in the back of your mind, but not to overthink it or think too much about it all the time. Swim swam in Betty with Speedo during the photo shoot for the release of their new suit, the Speedo Fast Skin. Then we caught up with Olympic champion, world champion, and world record holder, Kathleen Baker. She's back in the mix with the magic man, David Marsh, training in La Jolla. When did she arrive in San Diego? Two and a half weeks ago. Yeah, so I've just gotten there. I love it. I live right by the beach. Um, I'm getting a kitten this week, which is pretty exciting. And I'm just really loving getting tan and really focusing on training specifically for what I need um, and what I'm going to be able to do this summer. Kathleen decided to forego her last year of college to focus on being a pro. What's the significance of 2019 on the run-up to the Olympic year? I definitely think that the big cycle starts sort of January of 2019. Like this is the last year and a half pretty much before the Olympics and this is when you really want to get everything down, whether that's your weights program, what gym you work out in, where you're going to be training and sort of just have the long-term plan in there. I think 2018 is pretty special because we get to qualify for meets ahead of time which does take some of the mental pressure off of us of having to really be frantic and preparing and especially a lot of the kids who come off of college season um, it's pretty hard to go back and qualify again for another meet in June so having just a little bit of extra time to train and focus on that I think it's really good. What's the pro lifestyle like compared to swimming in college? It's definitely been amazing I mean I've loved it so far but it's a huge adjustment at the same time like I don't spend time with 20 something girls my age every single day and that's definitely something new and I always like have been told it's a lonely um, at when you turn pro and I definitely think there's a lonely aspect to it but there's also a really exciting aspect to it. I mean this is now my career, this is what I get to focus on. I don't really have a lot of school or anything really weighing me down and I have a lot of freedom to just really focus on swimming and that's something I love. Some people don't want to just focus on the swimming but I'm someone who's like so happy to just have swimming. <laughs> Kathleen mentioned that being a professional athlete is a lonely lifestyle. What does she mean by that? You really are transitioning out of like an era of your life and you're sort of like in a bubble in college swimming. You're always around people and then the second you're no longer on a team or something like that, your bubble gets a little burst and you're on the outside and nothing's ever intentional. It's just how it is and I've watched so many swimmers do that and it's really important to find your own way and really find different things to fill up your well rather than it's just going to be a team because you're not going to have that huge team behind you all the time anymore because you're not going to be going to do meets and mid-season meets and conference and everything like that but my college friends are some of my best friends in my whole life and I love that I get to still be in touch with them but it's definitely a transitional time. In what ways is Kathleen managing to fill up her well? Yeah, I think definitely for me, it's just being able to um, focus on like recovery, things like that. Like I'm living alone and I'm used to having roommates, so I spend a lot more time doing recovery needs and then whether that's going to get massages more often or getting work done or taking longer naps, it's just, for me, I'm filling it a lot with recovery and then at the same time, because I'm more, like, because I want to fill up my time, I'm getting a kitten. So that's going to be awesome as well and um, I love that on my pro team, uh, that's still a team, like we all hang out together on the weekends and after practice so I think that's special that just because I'm done with college swimming doesn't mean I need to lose the team aspect of swimming. I think a little bit in 2016 I was scrambling to make the Olympics like I felt like I was just trying to throw everything in there to try to be able to just hopefully like by a fluke make the team and this time I think I have a little bit more confidence and I know I'm going to be more prepared and especially not coming off of a college year where you uh, spend a lot of time short course I'm not going to have to all of a sudden throw in long course and things like that so I think it's going to be really exciting I think my nervous level is going to be the exact same <laughs> regardless of where I'm at I don't think the nerves are going to be any better but I think beforehand I'm just going to have a little bit more confidence and hopefully have a little bit more experience as well.